on. This is Buff. I have a question about... Go ahead. Radio. What's that, hon? Who is that Chaldean uh, artist you're putting on the radio? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wants to know, right? Yeah, I'm Chaldean. I want to know what it is. Well, I'm going to play it a couple of minutes, so uh, hang on for it, okay? Okay, I'm listening. All right. You might like it. You might dislike it. You might like the song. It might sound good. You might like the beat. You might dislike the message. You might love the message. I want your opinion in just a little bit. Chaldean artist, you have to be identified in her debut here in just a little bit on Alpha 5. In the drop top, the top down, Number five is spot. Davida hanging out. Davida, if there's a station, that's a station for all the people. If there's a station, that's a station that would be considered a melting pot, it's Channel 955. Right. No doubt about it. No discrimination here. Yeah. Right. I don't know why nobody's even featured this artist yet. you just all up on things, Bo. He's actually been interviewed on a couple of national television shows. Yep. Fox News Network, Hannity and Cones, stuff like that. And he's Chaldean American. He's got an album just released to open for business. And he's got a song called Iraq. And he's really cute. He is kind of cool. I think he's I know. But, no. <laughs> okay. You know, whether you uh, like the message or not, I'm not going to give you my point of view at all. But uh, whether you like the message or not, the song's got a hook. I mean, it's, it's hooky. It sounds good. But first, a little background on this artist. His name is Tims. T-I-M-Z. Unique perspective on the war, D. He talks about the Chaldeans in Iraq. Christian Chaldeans kind of caught in the middle of everything over there. This is what he had to say in, uh, on a national interview. Check it out. I'm, I'm Chaldean, and that's a uh, Catholic ethnic group from Iraq and uh, when Saddam Hussein was ruling we we were not persecuted in, in the way that Chaldeans are being persecuted now in Iraq mm. nowadays we we are getting kidnapped you know it is a civil war between Sunnis and Shiites and there are Christians stuck in the middle mm. and what are we supposed to do we have uh, you know extremists killing each other and we're Christians well how do they look at us at least when Saddam Hussein was there he kept some of these extremists down. And again, I'm not promoting Saddam Hussein. I'm just saying that it was a, a bit safer for people like me to be uh, alive in Iraq. So he's not endorsing Saddam. He's just saying things are just messed up. Before I used to be able to walk the streets and not worry about mm -hmm. being attacked, being a Christian Chaldean. All right, here we go. I'm going to give it to you right now. The artist is Tim's. The song is Iraq. It's from the album Open for Business. Check it out, listen to the song in its entirety, and then call me and tell me what you think about it at 313-298-9595. Here it is on 955, the station for all the people. Somehow, someway, someday, we gon' rub this bitch down for what they did in upper grade. Somebody, somewhere, say something. I tie myself out and I ain't changed one thing. God, it looked like you ain't watched in a while. And I don't even know when's the last time I smiled. They look and feel sorry for us. Can you believe it? The great Iraq is if we need it. And look what they decide to give us. Blood from the world to fill up our rivers. And what, we're supposed to be thankful you killed my family and I should say thank you? No thanks, you got your tanks, I got my guard, bring it on. Bring it. it sounds pretty, you can sing along, cause the sound of gunfire is my favorite song. Sing it. There's a war going on outside, no birds around here, just bullets that fly. There's a war going on outside, there's death everywhere, but I feel so alive. There's a war going on outside, no birds around here, just bullets that fly. There's a war going on outside, there's death everywhere, but I feel so alive. Uh, uh, uh. Mr. George Bush, why do you insist to make a fool of us? For over 200 years, we stood for what's good, now we despise by peers. This ain't gonna last for long, their wish is dead, George, your only wish is gone. And what do you do? But add fuel to the fire and send in more troops. Oh, the troops, God save the troops. It wasn't their war, their lives, their fault. America the beautiful, what did they do to you? They used you, it's so indisputable. And I ain't talking no Democrat, Republican. I talk for myself and I'm Iraqi American. George, I don't really know who sent you, but don't let karma come get you. Ow. There's a war going on outside. No birds round here, just bullets that fly. There's a war going on outside. There's death everywhere, but I feel so alive. There's a war going on outside. No birds round here, just bullets that fly. There's a war going on outside. There's death everywhere, but I feel so alive. Uh, uh, I feel so alive. 
Y'all must have missed the facts. Let me straighten y'all up on the twisted facts. Did you know? The Garden of Eden was our wreck. Did you know? God made Adam and Eve in our wreck. Did you know? Life made its first start in our wreck. Did you know? No went and built the ark in our wreck. Did you know? Abraham was born in our wreck. Did you know? The three wise men are from our wreck. Did you know? Man was first start in our wreck. Did you know? The three wise men are from our wreck. Man was first start in our wreck. Did you know? Astrology language law our wreck. Oh, did you know there's oil in our wreck? Foreign blood and sun. Somebody trying to sabotage us. Sounds like sabotage. Well, you're going to think... All right, good. All right, you're going to think I did this on purpose. You can actually see the video in its entirety at channel955.com. Click on the bow page. Hear the song in its entirety. Channel955.com on the bow page. There's a poll right there. Tell me whether you, whether you like the song, like the message, dislike the song, dislike the message, or whatever. Channel955.com. Watch the video. The video is even more intense. But I want your calls right now. 313-298-9595. And let me know what you think of the song by Tim's. I'll put you on the air next. Channel 955. Number five. All right. Just premiered a song from Iraqi American artist Tim's. Giving the Chaldean perspective on the war. And, uh... Yo, whether you hear the lyrics or not, I mean, the beat, the rap is on. It even sounds good. It's hooky. But I want to get your response on the uh, on the song. And you guys are blowing up the phone lines here. 313-298-9595. Um, now, if you know what we're talking about, you can go to com, click on Bo, and you'll see the video right there from Tim's and also a poll. You're on 955. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Hey, I just want to say I love this song. I think it, you know, it represents like a couple different point of views. And um, I wanted to say something about a rally going on in Southfield. Can I say something like that? I, honestly, I mean, I appreciate your interest. I'm not going to get political with this too much. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to stay right in the middle. So, But okay. people are going to know there's a rally and they'll look for it, okay? All right, thank you. Navafa, what do you think of the song? I love that song. I'm Chaldean, so what do you think? So you relate to it, right? Yeah. Okay. And what's it mean to you? Yeah, yeah, like I own a party store in Brighton, me and my dad, and it's all Americans around here, so like people think that we're Muslim, and they always like yell at us and yeah. if, like they don't like our prices. They don't realize the fact that you're a Christian, Chaldean, yeah. you're Catholic. All right, man, you're not for five. All right, what do you want to say about the artist Tim's and the song of rap? All right, you know, it, what's great about this country is he can say what he wants. Right, not free speech. Not from anyone. But what he needs to remember is that there are American men and women over in Iraq, in his country right now, dying for his people. And under Saddam, if he were in Iraq, he wouldn't be able to say, you know, what he was saying in his song. Right. I understand That's his true. despair. Right. I understand his message. It, it, it does open your mind a little bit from the Chaldean point of view that, you know, they're caught in the middle of all this. Right. And I understand that. But, um, you know, I, I just wish he'd keep in mind that there are American men and women over there in his country dying well, you know what? You get for his... Free speech is right. You just said that on 955. Uh, go ahead, Chaldean artist, Chaldean American, Iraqi American artist, uh, Tim's. What do you say? Well, you know what? I, I, mixed feelings, I'll be honest. I, uh, you know, I'm so, I, I agree with him about Bush being there and, and Bush, you know, for portraying. You know, you know, let me just say this real quick. Pardon me for interrupting. You know, whether you support the war or not, whether you support right. Bush or not, I think it, it does open your eyes to the Chaldean perspective, though, doesn't yeah, it? That's fine, and I can respect and appreciate that problem with it. I am not Chaldean, I am Arab American, and I am Muslim. My question to the Tim's kid is, is, you got some anger built up, you know, against whoever it be, whether it be the Muslims in their civil war, whether it be Saddam, whether it be Bush. Was there anger there, or was the attention given when Saddam was persecuting hundreds of thousands of Kurds and Sunni and Shia Muslims in the South? That, that's my question. Okay, good point. So you're an Arab American, you're Muslim. Okay, I appreciate that point of view. Thank you.